yeah so one part that i wanted to also take you through is we have discussed predictive analytics where we figure out a way to predict certain behaviors the other is descriptive analytics which is your ab testing hypothesis testing where you use i mean you get instant answers prediction is to pre predictive analytics is to predict things which have not happened descriptive analytics usually happen instantly and then you get instantly or near instantly you get the answers so ab testing is i mean there are uh, urls mentioned in this uh, I'll, i'll show you so data science components for product managers plpm which is basically your data science part 1 last thing so there are urls that are mentioned where you can go and read up on interesting experiments that have been conducted where obama got 60 million dollars more because they changed the picture from just obama to a smiling family uh, american dream etc netflix sponsored uh, some uh, competition to help them improve their recommendation system by 10% and they would they gave a 1 million dollar reward which is nothing compared to i i'm not sure what is their exact revenue from recommendation right now but around 2014 2015 they were making about a billion dollars or maybe 2013 2014 they are making a billion dollars just from recommendation so if they recommended the right things people happened to just pay them for a few extra months so their lifetime revenue from each customer kept increasing and that's how they made a billion dollars extra in revenues every year this is another interesting uh, article where basically target is sort of the demand of us i don't know if they are the big bazaar of us or demand of us but they are departmental chain or hypermarket chain in us and uh, one of the, so <laughs> one of the things that they could do is they used certain correlations in terms of so the kind of things that people tend to Uh, not people girls or ladies tend to eat or consume or buy a few months before they are you know, or maybe a few weeks before they are about to become pregnant etc conceive so they would deliver something or something like that so they would deliver those items be- without even asking that you know this is what you will need and people didn't realize why they're doing it but then i think this once it went public they realized why they were getting these deliveries from target so uh, and another important slide in this module was is that and i think sangari asked this that so what is the framework or what is the involvement in crunching the data that a product manager should have so at framework for data scientist is you define the objective that this is what we are studying you define the success this is what the success looks like and this is what i need to understand the entire process and this is how i'm going to collect this data and then you analyze the data you model the data there is one part here that's missing which is when you call after you collect the data you clean the data right which is basically if you're getting your data from varied sources you need to convert it into one uniform format basis which you can on top of which you can you know apply your analy- analytics or models etc uh, because uh, i mean you could get some data from play store in some format app store gives you some other format your internal feedback forms give you another format so everything goes haywire if you try to analyze it without creating a uniformity So you analyze the data, model the data, verify, and then you determine the results. So these five, six, seven points, right? The, applying the analytics, applying the models, this the science behind crunching the data is where, if you want to be, or if you are from a heavily technical background, you can be involved, but you need not be. I mean, you need to have a clear understanding of what your objective is, 
define the success that this is what success looks like this is what i need this is how we are collecting the data and then you jump to once you get then you jump to getting the data and understanding the process behind it what was the assumption etc you are, you already have a fair amount of context so how do you plug it back to what you are doing right so the, the science of it you can leave it to the data scientist that's about it uh, youtube you can watch this video data analytics is key for product managers airbnb by an airbnb data scientist who basically gives you a more technical walk through of the kind of data metrics correlations that airbnb uses uh, in terms of toolkits there are three stages that uh, what is happening why is it happening and then reporting that this is this is what's happened so when you want to look at what is happening uh, you need tools like google analytics or adobe analytics which tell you that you know this is the amount of time someone spent on your website this is the uh, this is where they dropped off etc so you get to figure okay this is happening uh, this is what's happening but why is it happening then you have tools like uh, a platform called amplitude or mix panel which give you an insight into why what was the path that most users are taking before they drop they're dropping off right and then there are tools like i mean tableau excel click sense where you get those data feed, feed it into and then they generate a beautified report which you can present to senior management your teams investors all of them